Welcome back, everybody, to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. And I have my special guest, my beloved roommate, Kelsey Van Blarken. Hello. And uh, Kelsey and Kelsey just was kind enough to run me downtown for an errand I had to run. And uh, before we left, we found this box addressed to me at the, at the foot of the door. Now, I'm expecting a bunch of stuff in the mail. Um, I know this isn't the package from my mother. Uh, and I'm, I believe it's one of the musical instruments that I bought with, uh, with the PayPal donations so generously donated to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel. So thank you. And I don't know what this is. It could be, it's either a jaw harp or a harmonica. So let's. Are you excited, Kelsey? I'm so excited. Just from your descriptions too, like about like especially the jaw harp sounds really really cool. It does. It sounds super cool. You know, you're gonna hear me boing it. <laughs> now the reason I think this is a jaw harp is because, oh no, it's not. It's not. This is a harmonica. This is uh, the East Top. Mm -hmm. Chromatic harmonica that I ordered. This is a twelve-hole, um, not un, no valve. Not like usually chromatic harmonicas have valves in them on the reeds. So these little plastic wind savers. Okay. Kelsey built instruments. Mm -hmm. Repairs instruments. I heard you playing your, your uh, euphonium yesterday morning. I was, just a little bit, yeah. What would, <laughs> what would, now, how would you describe that? Would you describe it as more of a, a bass trumpet or like a, a tenor tuba? I think I would describe it more like a tenor tuba. Yeah. Um, I think in terms of like the tubing length, it's about the same length as a trombone. So they tend to play around the same range. Um, but the, the difference is that with the trombone, when you think of like the tubing, it stays all the same size just until the very end when it flares out. Yeah. And uh, on a euphonium, it's actually the same as a tuba. So as you're watching the tubing, it does get uh, bigger as it goes down the instrument. Okay. And so that it, it's just a different sort of sound that it will create. Um, I'm not necessarily sure how I would describe the sound, but there is like quite a very, it's very different. It's, I think the euphonium is a bit more mellow. It is um, very, very mellow. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a beautiful instrument. It's really <laughs> rich, like it's a really rich tone. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. The, that, that range it's in. Yeah, it's so good. It's not a bass, like it's not as bassy as a bass, but it's like, you know, like when you're playing harmonicas, the harmonicas go from like the highest ones in F sharp, the lowest ones a G. It's like the G, mm -hmm. you know. Um, this is cool. This, this is very uh, heavily packaged. We have Chromatic Forerunner. That number there. And this is by the East Top Harmonica Company from China, I believe. Uh, this is 12 holes, 48 tune, advanced harmonica. Jiansu, I think that's how you pronounce it. East Musical Instruments Co. Limited. Internet, www.easttopharmonica.com. Now, all I know about uh, East Top Harmonica is, is that they're one of the the few models made that come out of China that are actually worth worth the money because uh, they play really well. Oh, this is a really nice looking instrument. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think it comes with a little like polishing little, cloth little, too. Little cloth. So there you go. That's what you get in the box. It's a beautiful kind of gunmetal gray. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's nice and hefty um now i'm gonna check the reed yeah there are no valves on this reed so it might be able now it's really cold right now if 
but uh, let's see if we can get it. The slide works great. There's a little bit of, it's not quite as airtight as I would like it to be, but it's pretty good. Um, sorry, I'm geeking out, Kelsey, on the <laughs> harmonica here. It's really comfortable on the harmonica. It's got a, Jesus, notifications. Um, it's really smooth on the mouthpiece. That's something that you don't find on a Super Chromonica, really. Um, the slide works great. Um, now, it doesn't have uh, valves, so I want to see if, if it's easier to bend. Yeah, it is. This is cool. This yeah. is really cool. Because usually you can't but really bend notes on a on a chromatic harmonica. Okay. Um, but the the lack of valves. See, this is how I ruined. You know, my big that big old 64, 16 oh, okay, hole chromatica yeah. I have. I took it apart to take the re the the valves off it so I could bend it. Because usually I play these chromatics. I don't play them with the slide. I play them just uh, third position blues style. I played uh, the chromatic harmonica with the Silverhearts a fair bit, uh, doing like St. James Infirmary and stuff like that. But this is really cool. Um, the I think I paid, I think it was about $25 for this. Um, it's got the cool East Top branding on the back there. It's really solid. Like it's, it's, it's a good, solid, professional grade instrument. For twenty five dollars, um, you know, to buy a Super Chrome Monica by Honer, brand new, will cost you like a couple hundred dollars. You know, so this is a good a good way to go. I think if you are interested in learning the chromatic harmonica, I know a lot of a lot of harmonica players always keep one on hand, but rarely fuck with it. Like it's not you know. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just, you just got to remember every four holes are tuned the same. It's just, this one's three octaves, you know. And that's all you got to remember. It's tuned like a piano. So, that's cool. Thanks for doing the video with me, Kelsey. Yeah, no problem. And uh, I guess we'll see you later on the, on the Dirty Pat Walsh channel. This was exciting. I had no idea what was in the box. It's cool. All right. Be well, everybody.